breakfast in LA, supper in Boston three days later, not a problem with this bike. Could do it very well, very well indeed. Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We're at Lust Hills Harley Davidson, and they have been kind enough to lend me this absolutely gorgeous Midnight Crimson M8 equipped Road King. Look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful machine? I am just amazed at this thing. I mean, all the chrome, all the shiny. This is the shiny model. They've got other models that are blacked out, but this is the shiny one. I asked for this one specifically because I just love the way it looked. You know, in the Harley world, in the realm of Harley, this is a plain full-size bike. But uh, I, to me, this has got everything you could ever possibly want in a motorcycle. It's got wind protection. It's got storage. It's got comfort. It's got this amazing Milwaukee 8 engine. So let's start with the engine on the whole thing. It's got a Milwaukee 8 107. That's roughly 1,753 cc's. It's got 10 and a half to one. I'm sorry, it's got 10 to one compression. Puts out about, uh, we think about 93 horsepower and 111 foot-pounds of torque. That's 151 newton meters. Just look at that. It's, it's got the distinctive head styles. It's got, it's just a very good looking motorcycle. Attached to that is this wonderful, and I mean wonderful, of all the, uh, six-speed transmission. Uh, the forks on this, the front forks are 49 millimeter. They're the bending valve design, dual bending valve design. And what I like about them is that they're, uh, the actual tubes are covered. So you don't have to worry about dirt or bugs or anything like that getting into it. This beautiful bike, which I've been, I drove around back there to try to get a feel for it, has a 32 degree lean angle each way. And the seat height on this, 26.3 inches at 668 millimeters. And I mean, look at that seat. I, I think it's a very nice seat. I would need a backrest or something back here. Uh, wheelbase on this hot rod, let's go talk about that, is a uh, whopping 64 inches. And that's, you know, that's good. That uh, push out over a larger part of the roads. So that's uh, 1,626 millimeters, by the way. And the ground clearance is 5.3 inches. That's 135 millimeters. Lots of ground clearance. Lots of ground clearance. It's got a six gallon fuel tank, and I love the tanks on these and six gallons. I'm all about, you know, I think a motorcycle should have at least five. Uh, the big number, the number we all want to know, what does this weigh? And I'm going to bet it weighs less than you think. Ready? 828 pounds wet. That's a wet weight, 326 kilograms. Now that's not a bad number for a bike like this. And the, uh, you know, center of gravity on this motorcycle is so low that when you're riding it, it just, it just doesn't feel anything like that. You know, just amazing. Just amazing. The front tires on this are uh, 130 70-18s, and they're a Harley tire, Harley branded Dunlop. You know, and I was really surprised when I found out this said 18 has 18s fronts and rear. The rear is a 180-55-18, so 180 is a nice beefy tire. Very good looking rear end, I think. It's available in vivid black, midnight crimson, which is what this is and Gauntlet Gray and Vivid Black, which is a two-tone model. And I haven't seen that yet. I've seen pictures of it, but I haven't seen it in real life. I'd like to. So what do you think of the styling of this high ride? Uh, we'll start with the front end. That's the most obvious thing to me. The front end in a Road King, what makes it a Road King is this big windshield, this nacelle headlight, these uh, running lights. Although some of them, there are some Road King models that don't have those. But to me, that kind of makes, that says Road King right there. And then, of course, on this particular model, we've got the bumpers on the uh, fairing. And then we've got this piece back down here. Very nice, you know, I think that whole front end is really a piece of work, piece of art. Um, this is a no tools required, quick detach bearing. I would show you how to do that, but it's pretty windy here today. But the whole thing, you just pull out on it and then pop it up and it comes right out. So if you want to ride around town without a fairing, you got it. If you want to get on the highway, put it back on. And it's a pretty large fairing. I mean, look at that. It's very nice, I think. I just love all this chrome. I mean, look at all this chrome. Just gorgeous amount, you know, gorgeous amount of shiny stuff all over the place. Isn't that something? Just a beautiful, beautiful machine. So that's the front end. Now we move over to the engine. We talked about the numbers on that engine already, but here again, look at all these shiny. You know, it's just everywhere. Everywhere you can look, you know. The pipes, the, it's just every bit of this. You know, the transmission cover, the, the points cover, it's not points, the cam cover. The coil covers, you know, the primary cover, just everything. Shifter, the kickstand, these bars right here, crash bars. You know, and the, they say some people ride the Road King so aggressively that these crash bars are actually wear items. Isn't that crazy? You know, <laughs> just 
phenomenal. They must really be good at it. I mean, once you get one of these, I guess. Uh, coming up here to the dash, got this large, look at this. This is a embossed. It's uh, raised up. You can really feel it. Here's a light bar right here. The gauge, of course. This is a uh, cap with another fuel gauge in it. I think there's a fuel gauge in here. Well, there's a range meter in here. Fuel gauge right here. And if this is where you fill the gas, the high point of the tank, it takes six, six gallons. Look at this. Isn't that just gorgeous? Road King. This locks, of course. I think these are the uh, lights, the road lights. So stepping back and looking at this, in here there's a little LCD, a little tiny one. It needs to be bigger, I think, but just a little tiny one. There's a series of lights in there, too. Uh, this LCD is controlled by this switch right here. Let's see if we can make a change. I don't know what RR is. Maybe that's ra reserve range. Okay, there's gear and RPM. We'll leave it on that later. Uh, FR, RR, I'm not sure what that means. The odometer, trip A, and trip B. All right, clock, and back to gear. We'll leave it on the gear number, so uh, we get going, we can see the uh, RPMs. But uh, there's also, like I said, a, a series, of, there's uh, blinker indicators, neutral light, oil pressure light, everything right in this strip here. So that's down low, and uh, you have to look down to see it. That's true, even with the full face helmet, I haven't had any trouble with it. But, you know, the bike has cruise control. The other thing is these big twins like this, they have, you know, the engine's like a freight train. It just, it gets to where it's going, and then it'll just hold the power. It doesn't start rolling on when you, you know, go down a hill. It, it holds itself very well. You know, I talked about the emblem already. I just really like that, by the way. Look at all the detail in here. You go to the, go to the, uh, if you go to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson, make sure you take a look at that. Just a beautiful thing, you know. Yeah, controls are very large. Here's the traction control button. Long, high, lows. Uh, left blinker, cruise control over here. You know, we have these uh, hazard lights, start button, the on off for the bike. Now, listen to that. Those are real buttons, just phenomenal. And then, of course, the right blinker. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And, of course, these Harley mirrors. And I do like these mirrors. Uh, you know, they're wide, they've got the round look, but they're still wide, so you can plenty of view. And, of course, I'm going to mention it again. I always like the Harley levers. These Harley levers feel very good in my hand, and I do like that a lot. Running back, we've got the uh, rear crash bars, and we've got the bags. Now look at these bags. Just humongous. Just humongous. I mean, good grief. I love it. I just love it. And by the way, the bags are removable. Let's look at that real quick. You pop these off, the bags come right off. So you need to clean your bike or, you know, whatever. Don't want them on while you're out riding around. There you are. You got it, got, got it covered. They come right off. Uh, an interesting thing is the back end of this bike. They've got these oversized blinkers on that chrome bar. It's a very interesting look. I think that's a classic look. Um, here's some bars on here for hardware attachment. That's a really good look, isn't it? You can see the disc back there. So uh, that's something we didn't talk about. These are uh, on the front. We've got the dual disc. We've got four pot brimbos. There's four pistons, two on each side of the caliper. So they both squeeze. The uh, looks like the uh, disc are fixed. So it's just a really a neat thing. Uh, who buys this bike? Well, I would buy this bike. It's got, to me, this bike has everything you could ever possibly want in a motorcycle. Like I said earlier, it's got wind protection, it's got storage, loads of power. This is the kind of thing that'll drive coast to coast. You know, I've mentioned before, you know, breakfast in uh, LA, three days later, supper in uh, Boston. This bike would do that. In the realm, like I said earlier, in the realm of Harley, you know, the world of Harley, this is a basic motorcycle. In anybody else's realm, this is a, an amazingly well-equipped bike. Like I said, it's got cruise control, fairing, traction control. You know, it's got just about everything you could ever want. Big running boards. So what do you think about this Road King with all its chrome? Is this something you'd like to have? Put your uh, thoughts in the comments below. Meanwhile, I, Fuzzy Biker, I'm gonna go take that hot rod for a ride. Wahoo, let's go. Kickstand up, ignition on, kill switch in the right position. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Let's go see what we can do with this thing. Loads of torque. 107 makes a tremendous amount of torque. What did I say, 111 pounds, foot pounds? Let's see what kind of a circle we can turn here. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. That is Lus Hills Harley-Davidson. If you are interested in a new or used 
Harley Davidson. Get yourself down here to Lus Hills Harley Davidson, LusHillsHD.com. Ask for Jimmy. He is eager to help you. Tell him Fuzzy Biker sent you. Now let's go see what this thing does. Wahoo! Okay, let's talk about the seating position first. This is a uh, got running boards. I love running boards on a motorcycle. I'm sitting about straight up and down with my back. My knees have got a, probably a 90 degree bend in them. My feet are forward of my knees, totally forward of my knees, I would say. I'm reaching for the bars, but I'm not bent back, and my arms are relatively loose. I like that. It's a very comfortable seating position. I like this a lot. I could sit like this for hours. Isn't that just a beautiful view right there? So is it comfortable? Uh, so far, I would say yes. Let's give it a little bit more ride, and we'll uh, get back to that maybe. This fairing is doing a very good job of keeping the air off of me at this speed. We're going uh, just a little under 40 maybe. Very positive shifting. The brakes are excellent. Excellent brakes. I think these come standard with uh, ABS and I believe the brakes are linked forward to rear. I'll check on that. It has wonderful brakes. That's uh, one thing I've got to say about all Harley Davidsons that I've ridden so far. The modern ones have fantastic brakes. It's got a very good feel, kind of a nice shake to it. When you give it the gas, that kind of goes away, but uh, sitting here at an idle, you can really feel it. I like that. Gives you that Harley uh, feel. These M8 engines have a counterbalance shaft in them. Loads of torque. The clutches on these things are phenomenal. phenomenal. The uh, friction zone is wide and easy to going. It's just a beautiful thing. Okay, we're in sixth gear, going 60 miles an hour, and we're attacking just over 2200 RPM. See if we can do it 65. 65, we're attacking about a little over 24. The ride is great. My hands are getting a little bit of shielding, but they are in the wind a little bit. This area here is very, very good. Right here, there's nothing at all. I'm getting a little buffeting on the top of my helmet, but not nothing too bad. Alrighty, here's our turn. Beautiful M8. The beautiful transmissions on these M8s just work excellent loads of torque loads of torque incredibly good feeling clutch handling is i really i'm very i'm very impressed with the handling this thing does it very well i'm a little torn here i rode the uh soft tail heritage classic and just fell in love with that i'm uh this is this is this is giving it a run for the money i really enjoy this it's an incredibly nice ride look at the beautiful fall foliage through here it's impressive, very impressive. We are, we're on an old wore out road here in Lus Hills. It's kind of bumpy, curvy, you know, junky. Uh, and this motorcycle is eating that up without any problems at all. The mass of the motorcycle, the suspension between the mass of the motorcycle and the road is doing an excellent job. You know, the suspension is working against the mass of the bike and the bike wants to stay still. So it's very, very comfortable. And that transmission is just such, it's got such great feel. Look at those colors. Isn't that just mind blowing? That alone is worth the trip down to Lus Hills Harley Davidson. Get yourself on your bikes, get down here to uh, take the back roads, wind through these hills, and get yourself down to Lus Hills Harley-Davidson. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful fall ride. Tell them you want to take one of these for a ride. <laughs> They're beautiful road king. The handling, look at this. This is an 800 and whatever pound motorcycle. This is just phenomenal, phenomenal. Hey, there's our uh, stop sign. I love it. I just love it. Yeah, we got a little traffic here. Let's wait and see what they do. No one behind us. Let's get her turned around. Look how easy this thing turns. Just, just a dream. That clutch is a pussycat. This motor's got great feel. I just love the way these feel. The 107 with 90 some odd horsepower and 111 foot pounds of torque is a phenomenal engine. You know, I drove 117 cubic inch last week and was just blown away, but I will tell you this engine here, I love it. It, it does everything you could ever want and it does it with great throttle control great smoothness and i know that if you give this thing a heavy twist it'll just pop to life i mean it's got loads of everything you need hey let's do a little brake test here we're going uh, about 50. very nice very nice and picks right back up look at that can you hear the sound isn't that fabulous absolutely fabulous sounding motorcycle if you are enjoying this video please hit like and consider subscribing please leave in the comments what you liked about this particular video and the channel as a whole let us know what you'd like to see we are eager to please wahoo 
You know, this is a beautiful road to wind a road king through. It's just a gorgeous thing. The Lus Hills are fabulous. And by the way, the center of gravity on this bike is incredibly low. I would, I wonder if it's lower than the uh, soft tail. It just, you feel like you're right on the ground with it as far as handling goes. It's a beautiful handling bike. Okay, here we are. Let's see what we get. We pull out and let's see what it takes to get to 60. I think I hit the rev limiter. <laughs> Crazy. It's a pretty windy day here today and uh, this thing is not even bothered by the wind. It's just incredibly stable. That's another advantage of the Maz. That transmission is excellent. I love the, the Milwaukee A with this uh, six-speed box. It's just phenomenal. And like I've said before, the, the clutch on these bikes have just got excellent feel. Very wide friction zone. A lot of feel to it. I mean, it's, it's just an excellent thing. Couple that with the uh, immense amount of torque that this thing has. You know, think about the clutch on a bike like this. It must just be humongous. 111 foot-pounds of torque. So how does this thing handle? Uh, let's start with the garage. It's a heavy bike, very heavy bike. But again, the center of gravity is incredibly low. So it, you know, once you get it rolling, so once you get it rolling, it should push around okay, but it's gonna be heavy, no doubt about it. Uh, parking lot speeds, I was absolutely impressed with how this thing handles at low speeds. Absolutely impressed, it does very well at low speeds. So parking lots, five miles an hour, under six, you know, it, it'll do fine. Uh, picking up from there, I think normal driving speeds up to 70, 80 miles an hour, you know, 20 to 70, this thing's just a dream. I really, really, really like it. Above that, on the interstate, well, that this would just chew up the interstate. So what do I think of this motorcycle? Well, once again, it should be obvious. I'm just in love with it. Every time I ride a new Harley, it just it grabs me. Absolutely amazing. The uh, 107 with this transmission in this particular motorcycle makes this a very smooth operating bike. It just does everything right. I just love it. And uh, I mean, look at, look at how that looks. Isn't that just beautiful through there? Once again, if you're interested in a motorcycle like this, get yourself down here to Lust Hills Harley-Davidson or go to LustHillsHD.com and ask for Jimmy. He can help you out. Tell him Fuzzy Biker sent you. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm just having too much fun on this motorcycle, but I do have to take it back. <laughs> Life's too short, I guess. Life's too short. So get out there and ride, my friends. Get out there and ride Lust Hills Harley-Davidson. Wahoo!